Hello, this is Tyler with Appliance Service by Paul, located in Salt Lake City, Utah. We're going to walk you through some of the steps of how to diagnose and repair a dryer. Okay, a couple things for you to notice if your dryer is not working the way it should. Uh, if it takes a long time to dry, it's one of the biggest uh, reasons your dryer is going to stop working. A couple reasons that can cause that is the dryer vent can be plugged or your lint screen itself can be plugged. A lot of the time you can get fabric softener buildup on here from dryer sheets. Uh, make sure you scrub this and clean this so the air can flow through really good. Or you may need to pull your dryer out and clean the vent behind it as well. Uh, the cycling thermostat is also another reason that your dryer could be taking a long time to dry because it's just not heating like it should. Heating element could go out which will cause your dryer not to heat at all. Uh, if your dryer doesn't turn on at all, a couple things that can cause that. You have your door switch which is located up here that tells your door that it's closed. If your door, if your dryer thinks the door is open, the dryer won't start. Another common one is to make sure that you have proper power to your dryer. Make sure you have 240 volts to the dryer. You'll need to get a voltmeter to check that. If you don't have one of those, you can pick one up at uh, your local hardware store. Again, this is Tyler with Appliance Service by Paul. We've just walked you through a few steps of how to diagnose and repair your clothes dryer.